I guess I'm in the mood to educate today. Let's talk. There was a mass shooting out in Colorado in a nightclub on Saturday night. More specifically, it was a gay nightclub, a place where my LGBTQIA brothers and sisters could go to have fun and be safe. Five people were murdered. I don't know all of the specifics, but um, I do believe it was uh, patrons at the nightclub that end up taking down the shooter. I've seen reports where the shooter ended up being a Republican's politician's grandson, which is infuriating, but not shocking, given the agenda and the policies that they're trying to push. Of course, politicians are coming out with what they always come out with thoughts and prayers. Lauren Boebert included. Lauren Boebert is a House representative that represents um, a district in Colorado. Here's what she tweeted. The news out of Colorado Springs is absolutely awful. This morning, the victims and their families are in my prayers. This lawless violence needs to end and end quickly. Lauren Boebert is full of shit and she is a stochastic terrorist. I used the term stochastic terrorist once before on my page and people are like, what, what is that? Then they go over and look, look it up and they learn something new. But here's the definition of stochastic terrorism. Stochastic terrorism is the public demonization of a person or group resulting in the incitement of a violent act. So now that you know what stochastic terrorism is, people like Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Ted Cruz, Donald Trump, the people over at Fox News, they're all stochastic terrorists because they push and say things that incite their minions to go out and physically harm people. The, sh the shooting is being investigated and to determine if hate crime charges will be added on to the list of charges for the mass shooter. While Lauren Boebert is offering thoughts and prayers and preaching that the violence needs to end, I wanna remind you, she posts stuff like this and stuff like this. She posts that picture of herself with her kids holding firearms to signal to the rabbit base that she is in support of their Second Amendment rights, and she will work to not allow their Second Amendment rights to be taken away as if the government is doing anything of the sort. But the base believes it, so she pushes it. When she posts about taking your children to church and not drag bars, she's pulling in the evangelicals, the most hateful group on the planet, I believe. The group that rails and hates against the LGBTQIA community the most. But yet, while she's posting all of that, she's up in Congress working against having any type of solid hate crime law. She didn't vote when it came to voting for the Equality Act, which would have established hate crime laws nationwide in this country. She voted no against the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act, which would have designated an officer or an employee of the Department of Justice to facilitate expedited review of hate crimes. She voted no against that. So again, when this stochastic terrorist offers thoughts and prayers and um, says that this violence needs to end quickly. I want you to know the type of devil that you are dealing with. Talk to y'all later.